Here's a simple lick from David Sanborn's version of Soul Serenade that you can learn how to play in this lesson right here. Hi, I'm Donna from Donna Schwartz Music, and if you want more tips to bring your playing to the next level and licks to sound like a pro, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified when new videos are out. Okay, so here's a little history. Soul Serenade was written by Luther Dixon and King Curtis, also known as Curtis Owsley, and appeared on King Curtis's 1964 album, Soul Serenade. It reached number 51 on the singles chart in 1964. Now, one thing I didn't know, now, one thing I didn't know was that he recorded this on a saxello. I always thought it was on a soprano sax, but the lick I want to show you today is not from the King Curtis version, which was in concert A flat. I'm going to show you this lick from David Sanborn's version, which is in concert A. That's alto F sharp, tenor, key of B. Now, I put the link for David Sanborn's version below. It's a simple lick, starts at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video, and it actually starts his solo. So I also want to reveal in this video two mistakes most musicians make when it comes to improvising. Stay tuned to the end to see how you can avoid those mistakes and make your solo sound more pro. Let's hear the lick again, and what's really important is the groove and the feel. It's soul music with a strong backbeat and a triple feel. All right, now that you're feeling that groove, think about where the lick falls within the chord changes. What can help you to retain the lick is listening to the bass to catch the chord changes. Listen again and focus on that bass line. So did you hear this? Now, why is focusing on the bass line so important? Well, the bass usually outlines the roots of the chords, and when you know what the chords are, that gives you clues as to what the notes may be in the melody. But in this section, there's really only two chords. It's the one chord and the four chord. But what makes this interesting is that it moves from the one to the one with the third in the bass, we call that first inversion, then to the four chord, and then it sounds like it's moving to the five chord, but it's not. It's still the four chord, but the five of the key, in this case for alto, it's C sharp, and tenor, it's F sharp. That five is in the bass with the four chord on top of it. So the chord sounds like this. Pretty cool sound, right? All right, next step. You want to ask yourself, how is this melody moving? What's the direction? Is it around a note like a straight line? Um, is it just moving up? Is it just moving down? Is it moving up and down? We want to know this because it's going to help us figure out the melody. So if the lick starts on like F sharp, let's say, right? This note over here. Uh, so let's just do it up here. Then let's say, you know, all the other notes are going down a direction. You're going to have a better idea of what those notes may be. All right, so listen again for the direction of the melody. Okay, well, let me introduce kind of what he's really using for this. Yes, he is using the A major pentatonic scale for the first part of this lick, but he's not making the mistake most players make. He's not making this first mistake. He's not starting on the root. He's not even starting on the third. He's starting on the sixth degree of the pentatonic scale. Here's the second mistake. People, most people just go up and down the scale. He's not doing that either. All right, so let's listen to this lick and focus especially on the first part of the lick up to the held out note. Now you're going to notice that he uses almost all of the notes from that pentatonic scale, but he skips the second degree. So here's the full scale without, then I'm going to do it without the second. Without the second. Keep that sound in your head and listen to the lick again. Could you hear the pentatonic scale notes now? Now, if you play the one 
of the scale, or the one of the key, I should say, the concert A. And hear that note in your head, all right? Hear the note in your head as you listen to the lick again. Ask yourself, where do you hear that pitch? Did you notice it's the held out note? Hopefully you did. All right, if not, go back and do that exercise again. We call that note the resting tone. All right, and the resting tone is the note where all the other notes of the melody relate and the, co the uh, notes in the chords, the notes in the chords relate to that too. Now, did you also notice that I had you listen to the lick many times, not just once? The goal is to hear something well enough so you could figure it out on your own before you try to read it. So listen one more time and see if you've got it figured out. And let me know in the comments below when you do have it down. You know, David Sanborn solos are awesome. They're so melodic and they're just, they're fun to play. They're fun to figure out. But if you want to create your own melodic solos, then you absolutely, positively must register for my workshop, how to create melodic solos that are authentic in any genre, even if you don't know a ton of theory and without memorizing hundreds of patterns. Now, in that workshop, I'm going to cover the five improvisation progress killers, not ones I talked about today, five improvisation progress killers that you must avoid in order to create meaningful melodic solos. Plus, I'm going to reveal the three secrets for creating a melodic solo. So for more info on my free workshop, click the link below. As always, people that support my YouTube videos get access to the PDFs, the backing tracks, and dozens of lessons on rock, blues, jazz, and funk licks, along with videos on practicing and mindset. The PDF and the backing track for this video will be in there too. So if you're loving my videos, show your support by becoming a patron, and I'd really appreciate it by the way. Just go to patreon.com slash Donna Schwartz Music. The link will be in the description below. Hey, don't forget, let me know when you figure out this lick, and while you're at it, smash that like button, tap the notification bell, share this with your saxophone playing friends, and I'll see you in the next video.